<laughs> oh snap, he's back! What up guys, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, been quite some time since yours truly has dropped a vlog and things have been busy. Things have definitely been happening. First and foremost, gotta take you back a little over a month ago now to what fundamentally was a redemption race. Was a little, little bitter after, after Boston. I was like, oh, what could have been? And so I did the wildly irrational thing of quickly signing up for another race to see what's what. So here is a little adventure back to Mountains to Beach Marathon. Shakeout run. So per usual, just trying to get a smooth shakeout run, vaguely around the pace and effort I'm aiming for tomorrow. So since I've been on hiatus since Boston, you might be asking yourself, how, how did you end up here at Mountains of Beach? Well, I did what all runners do, which is freak out about not maximizing their fitness to its full potential at the time and riding that post race high and sign up for stuff irrationally actually i saw an instagram post from chris Danucci about this race and i was like huh that looks novel so i hopped on the wait list and five days later i was off the wait list here we are what's the worst thing that happened so I guess we'll find out tomorrow what the worst is. It is definitely a net downhill course. The course starts in Ojai, ends at the beach in Ventura. So it's down, it's fast. It's really a function of if I still have the leg speed from Boston. And how long can I ride that red line? So I don't have too much pressure on myself for this race. I mean, definitely aiming to go sub three and get that BQ. That's always the angle, but if I don't get it, it's a nice long supported run. I can't really be upset. Get to enjoy a holiday weekend, hanging out with the running community, and just ruining my body, huh? That's the dream, right? Maybe the barbecue lunch wasn't the wisest decision, feeling a little heavy. It's set up, it's ready, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched 
Radio. Thanks, I boss. Appreciate it. <laughs> I think I know that guy. Hi, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Bad. Tom I thought I had Old Town Road just stuck in my head the entire race. We also passed a lot of farms, so. Toughest mile was 24. 24, yeah. 23. Like I could start feeling like aerobically. It was like things were starting to kind of lock up because I used that last 5K and I started pushing. Um, 24 was just the longest climb in the entire course. start working off with people. So, yeah, 24, 24 was mentally hard, but I knew the BQ was in hand by that point. It was just, it was like, will I be able to slide under 253? Like, can I, can I hit that time qualifier? And, yeah. Got there. Got to 25. And like 25.25 on my watch, I looked down and it was like 240. Six, like 40 or something like that. And I was like, if I'm gonna break 253, I'm gonna have to run like a 630 mile. And I got to start just like going. And it was just like, just like being back on the track. Just like all those laps I ran with the kids or ran while the kids were doing their workouts. Like, focus on that cadence, focus on performance. Like, push, push, push. It's like I've run so many like 624 to 630 miles. Just like, just trying to find that rhythm. That last you came onto the road, just a straight away to the finish. And it was just like, go, go. Like, if you cramp up now, I'm like, it, who cares? Like, you'll be able to just like limp across the finish line, but you have to start pushing. Yeah. But that is also the first time I've never walked a marathon. So, I'll take it. A lot of, a lot of successes on the table. A few moments later. After a nice lunch, a nap, and some rolling out, it's time to put in the real work of the day. Good food, good brews, good day. Now it's time to probably pass out. See if I'm functional enough for a shakeout run in the morning and then back to the bay. It looks functional. Ooh. Quads are a mess. It's really just general tightness. It feels like it feels like every step I take, the force pressure is just three times what it normally is. Needless to say, I'm not improving upon my Strava leaderboard standing on this particular segment today. Six miles in the books for that post marathon shakeout slash AJ Tang birthday memorial run. Oh, now time to pack up and go sit in the car for six hours. Hopefully, six hours, depending on this Memorial Day traffic. Back to the grind tomorrow.
Deuces. There you have it. Can't really be upset with the 252 effort and a five minute PR. So all things considered, I'm gonna, gonna say that one was a success. I mentioned when thinking about the possible outcomes for Mountains to Beach that either I was gonna get that BQ or I was gonna treat it as a really long supported run in preparation for my next event. And it's the middle of the summer now and it's time to, to share a little bit about those goals. So I am currently six weeks out from the Skyline 50K. That's where it all started when I came back to the Bay Area actually. I'd been back for two or three weeks and hopped into this race back in 2016. I had no idea what to expect. Obviously I know uh, the Lake Chabot area and Castro Valley fairly well having grown up in Hayward, but but after being gone for basically a decade uh, and hopping into a 50K that I had not properly trained for, was still able to muster a 424 effort, uh, good for, for a top 10 finish and whatnot, and obviously led to me meeting a bunch of new folks, uh, having returned to the Bay Area and being a part of the trail community now. So excited to take uh, this, this summer in preparation for that. And, you know, even though Mountains to Beach was Memorial Day weekend, I've been grinding ever since. Hasn't been as consistent as I would have liked. I've had uh, any number of reasons to, to bail out of runs, be it being on vacation in Vegas. <laughs> being on vacation in Vegas, uh, being in Sacramento for work, uh, trying to wrap up the school year with the kids and then get the summer programming ready so they knew what to do. And I'm gonna have a lot of excuses to do really poor training coming up, but, but the hope is that with a good six week training block, I can take what's been just consistent, easy running and sort of getting my climbing legs back and really, elevate that to to a really strong performance at, at the 50k i i think fundamentally i have two goals with skyline one is to get out healthy and strong i've been very fortunate with both of the road marathons this past this past spring to within a few days feel like i was back to being myself so want to continue that uh, path of health and well-being and coming out the the better uh, of, of a race effort and the second part is or the second goal the second goal is sort of as Clooney would have said and up in the air I, I have a number in mind and I haven't quite hit it yet so I think with some dedicated training using a bit of the speed and, and threshold uh, that I've developed from the road marathon if I can translate it over to the trail I think I think I might be able to, to throw down a, a, a new PR in the 50k distance so it's gonna take a lot more consistency than I've been doing. Something that looks more like my training block ahead of across the years in terms of being really diligent, getting a lot of time on feet, and just being smart about how I'm structuring the training. Come out some opportunities. We're gonna have some opportunities. Gonna get some altitude training in. Going to be in Colorado for the 4th of July week, so fitting mug that I chose for today. But if you're going to be around Denver, Boulder, Golden, that whole complex, the last weekend of June, basically Western States weekend, then hit me up. Maybe we'll link up, figure something out. And then I'll be up in Colorado for a week. So a good, solid uh, wrap into this three weeks. This How do I put this? With that, I got to go. I got things to do. Got work to be done. And I will catch you guys soon, six weeks until Skyline. Follow along on all the training and adventures. I'll be much more diligent now that I'm off my social media hiatus with these vlogs. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I think it's on this side. Uh, hit the bell if you want the notification when something from the Mountain Outpost channel pops up, either Run Flats Day Low or Mountain Outhouse news program coming at you weekly. And then hit us up in the comments below. Let me know what you're getting into this summer. If you're coming off of injury and you're just trying to get back into consistent training, or if you have a specific A race that you're training for, love to support you guys. 
follow you on Strava, give you all the kudos you need, uh, and you know, support you guys the same way you've supported me. So let's get into some stuff too. Ah, yeah, we we're so close. Let's get into some summer adventures, and I will catch you guys next week. Have a good one, y'all.